team members. How the fuck? It's your nigga gonna make sure you name back to another goddamn video, man. Hey, look. Team members, man. Hey, look, man. Look, man. Look, man. Without wasting time, we're gonna check out Geography now. Judge I think this is episode 432. I figured we're gonna do this uh the video of geography now first and learn a little bit about the history of Georgia and a lot of stuff about Georgia, and then we're gonna check out why to travel to Georgia in another video. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned. Today is gonna be a lit day. So yeah, subscribe. <laughs> please, please, please subscribe. I beg you, please. Let's get a 200 k subscribers. Please like, turn the post notifications on, keep sharing the video, couple merch, you know, support the brand. All of that beautiful stuff, okay? Now, without wasting time, let's go ahead and check out Geography Now, Georgia. Let's see what's talking. And the way I say Georgia is pretty funny. Georgia. <laughs> but hey, let's go. Talk All right, about. let's learn about Georgia. No, Georgia. No, Georgia. no history of Georgia. Famous people from Georgia. Sakartvelo. Georgia. <laughs> Famous people from Georgia. It's just straight from the little king, Chris Tucker, Kanye West. Kanye West ain't even from Georgia. That's fucking funny. Tyler Perry. Who else is that? Is that uh, George Washington? That's funny. <laughs> Sakartvelo. Sakartvelo. Got it. It's time to learn geography. No! Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbie. You have no idea how frustrating it is for these people to explain who and where they are from. We have reached our last country in the Caucasus region and we're gonna have a lot of fun because this place is so incredibly unknown and so incredibly interesting. Welcome to the land. No cap though, not to be offensive, but until I seen a comment that was like, oh react to judging and rap, I never knew. And this was like two years ago. I did not know a country named Georgia existed. And that's no offense. See, look, we learn every day. And I, I, like, I blame myself for that, for not being more open to the world and seeing what's out there. But as, until two years ago, I did not know there was a country called Georgia. It's so bad. Like, at least the government back then was so bad. I, the country is getting so much better now, so much exposure for real. Uh, and <laughs> of wolves. <laughs> Now ask a random person on the street where Georgia is on a map. 80% of them won't know, 19.3% of them will point to this, and the remaining 0.7% might get it right. For the 99.3% of you normies out there, Georgia is the Shut northernmost up. Caucasus country located in this quarter slip of land nuzzled between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea below eastern Russia with Turkey and Armenia and Azerbaijan to the south and east. You see what I mean? You guys remember the video I put out two, uh, two days ago when I was like, Georgia is literally in the middle of some shit. That's why they keep getting cut in the crossfire. Look, they got Turkey, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Russia, and Georgia is just the one in the middle. That's not good. <laughs> now here's where the geographical dilemma commences. Is Georgia in Europe or Asia? Some will argue that it stands east of Turkey, which is kind of seen as like the gateway to Asia, but culturally it identifies closer with Europe. Ultimately, I guess you can conclude that it's kind of like both in one. It's a bunch of white people in Asia. Or Caucasians. <laughs> <laughs> Quick side note, the origin of their name, Georgia, is kind of disputed. Some will say that it has to do with Saint George, their patron saint. Others will say that it came from the Greeks and their word Georgios, which means tiller of the land since the land was so fertile. But a lot of scholars might say it comes from the Persian word Gur or Gurgen, meaning wolf, hence land of the wolves. Mm. I mean, that name does sound pretty cool. I mean, if I was a scholar, I'd probably discredit all the other claims in favor of that one. Nonetheless, Georgians the call their own country Sakartvelo, or the land of the Kartvelians, which is another word for Georgians. Now, this is gonna be my favorite part because you know me. Incredibly complicated and min- I'm, I'm gonna put the next rap video, I'm gonna say Sakartvelo rap reaction. <laughs> I'll be making myself laugh in my head. <laughs> Administrative division time! Georgia is a candy shop loaded with territorial anomalies. First of all, if you go to Georgia and look at a map of Georgia that they have drawn out themselves, you'll get something that looks like this. A country divided into what looks like 11 regions and one city, the capital, Tbilisi. Yeah, I know, it looks like Tbilisi. It's Tbilisi. However, it's more like 10-ish regions and two autonomous republics, one of which cuts through parts of four of the regions. These republics are Abkhazia and, be careful what you call the second one, most people outside of Georgia will refer to it as South Ossetia, but in Georgian, it's called Samachablo or the Skinbali region. In the simplest Sam way I can put this, these regions, but in Georgian, it's called Samachablo or the Skinbali. South Ossetia, that's where the whole like war with Russia is going on, right? That's the border where like a lot of uh, fights are going on with Russia, right? About Russia like occupying the country, right? 
Weekly Region. In the simplest way I can put comments. this, these regions came about through a complicated history that involved independence from the USSR and then support from Russia after the USSR. Technically, these are, at least considered by most in the international community, autonomous breakaway regions of Georgia that kind of govern themselves but are kind of heavily influenced by Russia as well. To this day, Russia, Nicaragua, Venezuela, and for some reason, Nauru are the only fully sovereign countries that recognize Abkhazia and South Ossetia as independent nations. Travel between these two breakaway states is still possible though, it's just way more difficult for Georgians to enter the regions than it is for Ossetians and Abkhazians to get into Georgia. Whew. So anyway, aside from all that, deep. Georgia is an incredibly vivacious yet rustically refined nook hidden away in the mountains. Wait, that is so deep. What he just said is so deep. You guys need to break down that break down that for me in, like in the comments. So South Ossetia and the other place, some I, I forget what it's called. So I don't want to say it wrong. But those two places are like in the middle of Georgia, but they are governed by Russia. What the hell? That's interesting. Mountains hard to get to like Rivendell. Vacious yet rustically refined nook hidden away in the mountains hard to get to like Rivendell. The country is laden with enigmatic castles and centuries old stony fortresses and archways like Rivendell. As well as an abundance of monuments and statues with the curiously fascinating curvy wispy script written all- okay this is freaking me out. No but seriously Georgia is a very rock and stone type of country. They love rocks. The largest cities and airports are of course in the capital Tbilisi, Kutaisi, and Batumi. Tbilisi is a Batumi. bustling city with the stone and mortar Nadikara fortress looming above on a hill. Batumi though is kind of like the fun city on the Black Sea with like a I said, Batumi is somewhere and I can sharp leave. dynamic architecture. All adjacent to the famous Batumi stone beaches. I'm telling you they love stones. What? The bitches are stones? Dynamic architecture. All adjacent. They gotta be a part of the beach that has sand, right? You can't you you can't be serious. Y'all just lay on stones? Is he comfortable? Someone let me know in the comments. If you live in Batumi, is it is this beach comfortable? Like do you lay on stones and I can I can see okay people have your own chairs. Okay, that makes sense. But there's more people sleeping on the floor than on chairs. Very interesting. Listen to the famous Batumi stone beaches. I'm telling you, they Batumi love stones. Stone Some notable so sites would include places Batumi like the Gori beaches. Fortress with the statues of the eight warriors, Warriors. or the Katsuki Pillar, a limestone monolith with a single church on top, only accessible by climbing. And finally, castles, 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 everywhere you go. Notable ones like Rabati, Hinkani, Spinza, and Minos Minda, all of which are made of, you guessed it, stones. There's more to this country than just stones, I promise. All right, let's discuss that. I like this video. I've never well, watched Georgia figured, figured, video. Georgia is quite like mountainous with an videos. expanse of incredibly diverse, conveniently located hills and valleys. The reason why it's so convenient is because the entire country is pretty much nestled between the greater and lesser Caucasus mountains, which protects it from the blistering cold air masses that mm. pummel southern Russia, yet it also barricades against the hot and dry streams that penetrate from the south. This means that they have yes. overall pretty comfortable weather and just the right amount of rainfall and sunshine. The mighty That's Kura cool. or Mtkvari is the longest river that flows upward and arches south into the areas through Tbilisi and the highest mountain and third highest in Europe if you consider Georgia part of Europe, Mount Sakhara located in the north along the Caucasus. Concealed within the hills lies Mount the Yavkheti Volcanic Plateau and the southern Georgia Volcanic Highland. These are some rather unstable geological regions that will produce hot springs, mineral water, and seismic activity. And of course, That's caves. Really cool. So many of them here. You have the still yet to be completely explored Meluri Cave in Imereti with waterfalls, the Prometheus Cave that Greeks claim to be the spot where Prometheus was chained to his rock in Greek mythology. Greeks have a history of diaspora hmm. in Georgia. Georgia since like the 7th century. But the most famous cave would probably be the Krubera cave found in Abkhazia, otherwise known as the world's deepest cave that goes further than 2,000 meters down. Damn. Rapid fire round, you may also want to see the Abasha waterfalls, Martvili Canyon, Crybaby Mountain because it rains there almost the entire year, the incredibly Crybaby beautiful Mountain. blue lake in Abkhazia with peacocks around it for some reason. Speaking of animals, many might say that unofficially the national animal might be the wolf. The Caucasus region has some of the highest quality of soil in the world in terms of land wow. usage. Georgia has one of the oldest and wow, finest wow, wine making wow. Traditions that go back as far as 300 BC. Care. Otherwise, Georgia has been a hub for mineral mining and petroleum extraction. They share a pipeline that goes through Turkey into Azerbaijan. The national dish would have to be Hachpuri, or unofficially referred to as Georgian pizza, a decadent soft bread baked with yeah, gooey melted sure cheese, sometimes served with eggs and other ingredients Ooh, often baked in. Good, they boy, love cheese. They have so care. many different kinds, from the salty, briny sulguni to the weird, stringy tenili. They even have a dish where they put cheese inside of cheese. Basically, all you have to know is that when what? it comes to Georgian cooking, they love cherry plums and tarragon. That's like their go-tos. All right, enough about food. Let's talk about the people that eat That's those foods. Dope.
Now, if you thought pointing out Georgia on a map was difficult, try explaining what a Georgian person is. First of all, one broader term you could use to refer to someone who is ethnically Georgian would be Kartvelian, which encapsulates all the ethno-linguistic groups found in Georgia. If you include Abkhazia and South Ossetia, the country has about 4.8 million people and is currently attempting a population rebound after losing about 1 million people in the past 20 years due to migration. The country is made up of about 87% ethnic Georgians or Kartvelians, 6% Azerbaijani and Azeri, 5% Armenians, and the rest are made up of other groups like Greeks, Russians, and Ossetians. They also use the Georgian Lari Ossetians. as the currency, they use the C as plug yeah. outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. The most distinguishable facet of E as the currency, they use the C and F plug outlets, and they- Really? You guys use C and F plug? And you guys still don't drive on the right side of the road. The most distinguishable really, really facet about Georgia, though, would have really to be the Georgian Georgia. language. Like Armenian, it's unlike any other in the world, standing on its own, not derived from any Indo European or even Asiatic language branch. The language is also written in the Georgian script. Technically, they have three alphabets, but they only use one. The alphabet has 33 letters, no F sound, and a ton of strange, almost impossible to pronounce letters. For example, <laughs> Thank you to those geography peeps, you guys rock. Keep in mind though, there are other Kartvelian minority languages spoken in Georgia as well, such as Magrelian and Svan in the west and partially in Abkhazia, as well as Laz in the, in the south. Abkhazia and South Ossetia each have their own distinct languages and cultures that contrast with Georgia, although Georgians like to think that Abkhazians are basically just Georgians that speak a different language. The Abkhazian people write in the Cyrillic Abkhazian. alphabet and the Ossetians are actually a Christian Iranian based ethnic group that inhabited the area. Keep in mind I said Iranian, not Persian. Not not all Iranians are Persians. Just keep that in mind. Now we don't really have time to. I don't even know. I, I, see, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I swear to God, I don't even know what those like. What Persians? Like, what's the what's is they what's bad about Persian people? I'm not sure. I know. Like, I feel stupid asking this, but hey, look, you gotta humble yourself to learn every day. <laughs> I'm saying so. So please, somebody. I said so, so, so. Somebody just tell me in the comments, please. All right. Iranian based ethnic group that inhabited the area. Keep in mind, I said Iranian, not Persian. Not all Iranians are Persians. Just keep that in mind. Now, we don't really have time to explain the complete history, but basically, all you have to know is that in the third century BC, some dude named King Parnavaz of Kartli united all the Kartvelian speaking tribes in the Caucasus area, hence creating what was essentially the first proto Georgian nation. From there, you had Romans, Persians, Arabs, Turks, Golden Age, where they had women under the title of king, Mongols, Ottomans, Russians, and finally back to Georgia. Done! The funny thing is, even after two millennia of usurping empires, Georgia still maintained and held on to their own distinct identity, refusing to completely assimilate to any outside system. Christianity is the dominant religion, as about 84% of the population adheres to the Eastern Orthodox faith, 10% mostly being Muslim from the Azerbaijani population, and the remainder are mostly Armenian Apostolic or Roman Catholic. Christianity is kind of like a big deal here. Georgia became one of the first countries in the world to adopt Christianity, and as tradition holds, Jesus' disciple Andrew preached the gospel into ancient Scythia, which included the regions that Georgia lies in today. Also, a lady named Saint Nino converted the entire country. Culture-wise, Georgia is kind of strange because it's not quite European and it's not quite Asian. It's its own thing. Georgian polyphonic singing is actually filed under UNESCO's intangible heritage list. <laughs> All Georgians will tell you that Georgian traditional That's dance tough. is something that they are proud of, fast, yeah. difficult, I love dynamic, and bold, with a lot of with leaping and pointing. And Georgians are also known for being really into strength sports, even women. Oh, they really? love wrestling and weightlifting and judo. They typically compete well in these events at the Olympics. Konstantin Yanashia reaching some of the highest ranks in the world's strongest man competition. Speaking of which, the most notable Georgian in the oh, world I, ever I, seen, I, I guess although I'm, they I'm might not be proud of it, would probably be Joseph Stalin. Although to Georgian in the world ever seen, although they might not be proud of it, would probably be Joseph Stalin. Stalin, although to be fair, he did spend Damn. a lot of his time in Russia being a Russian dictator, so yeah. Hospitality okay, so is a he huge deal out Russian, here, right? as the saying goes in Georgia, a guest is a gift from God. And granted, no matter who you are, they'll pretty much just treat you to some khachpuri. And that's kind of how they are with your diplomacy, mostly. <coughs> Russia. <coughs> Let's explain. Friends in the simplest way I can put this, Georgia is like the Christian country with the most Muslim friends. It's weird because everything is like a high school drama with their neighbors. They get along well with Azerbaijan and Turkey. Trade and travel has been open for centuries. However, the memory of the Ottoman time still lingers ever so slightly. So they keep things at a flat, platonic, cordial level. Armenia kind of mm. like used to be their best friend, but then too many things happened and they kind of decided not to hang out as much. It first started in the 6th century with the Council of Chalcedon in which they split over secondary Christian doctrine issues. Armenia became apostolic orthodox, similar to the Coptic 
Syriac Ethiopian branches, whereas Georgia stayed Eastern Orthodox like the Greeks, Serbians, and Russians, and oh. most of the other Eastern European states. Also keep in mind, Armenia favored Russia after all that drama with Abkhazia and South Ossetia, so that kind of split the divide a little bit more. Their oh, best wow. friends, though, would probably be the Ukraine and the Balkan countries like Latvia and Lithuania and Estonia, even though Estonia is kind of like too busy chatting it up with Finland. All these countries have had the same scenario of dealing with some kind of form of aggression with Russia, and in a sense, bond over the shared calamity. However, there's a strange twist, because even though you would think Georgia's worst nightmare would be Russia, they kind of secretly still kind of a little bit maybe still have a soft spot for them. Each country has family of their own residing in each side and loves to visit each other. Even though politically it looks bad, the general citizens of each country still love still each other did. and look forward okay. to each encounter. Huh, isn't it funny how the general well, populace comments, of a country like, a is not always directly represented by their government? Judges, like, Shocking. In conclusion, Georgia is an elaborately hidden, rustic yet modernized medieval domain locked away in the secret hidden mountains caught between two worlds that it refuses to identify with, with its own vibrant heritage that has stood the test of time on its basically, own, basically, especially that melted cheese bread part. I Stay really tuned, the big that. guy, Germany, is coming up next. That's tough, man. That was a very, 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 very dope video. The way this nigga explained that shit, bro, I feel like I'm, I'm judging now. I just need to learn the language and see, boom, we, we qualify. That's sick, man. That's sick. I really, the, the language, though, it's gonna be tough to learn because you guys have a different alphabet, totally, totally different alphabet. That's gonna be difficult. But hey, man, you guys go in the comments, tell me some more videos to check out. I definitely found some reactions I'm gonna check out, like uh, the sports reactions of the like famous people from Georgia. I'm gonna react to some videos of them. So yeah, stay tuned, stay happy, stay sexy. Please subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, go in the comments. There's a couple links right there that you can use to support the boy too. Okay. I love you. See you in the next video. Let's get it. Drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much. You roll me blunt so I can't cool off. Eh?